Hi everyone, I'm Maggie Walden from maggiescrochet.com and every once in a while in crochet there are these defining moments and I really think that this board is one of them. This is so beautiful. I just love this. I've just been walking it around the office and this is to introduce a series of flower videos that we're doing here on YouTube and we're going to do videos on every single one of these flowers and then there's going to be several other flowers also and most of these were done with worsted weight yarn and all different um, brands of yarn were used for this and um, i just think it's really beautiful look at this and so you could it's a great way to use up scraps and this one flower down at the bottom, the, let me see, I gotta go this way. The pink one here, it, I made it big enough so you could actually put like a little uh, votive candle in the middle. And you could use these like for, to decorate scarves or hats or um, just anything, placements, anything. I just love these things. So anyway, well, I'm, we're gonna take you to a close up lesson and Christina is gonna show you how to make the flowers. And please, please, please subscribe to our channel and like and share our videos because it really helps us out a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. Hey everybody, it's Christina from MaggiesCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little loop-de-loop -loop flower. Um, here I've got it, you know, uh, sewed onto part of a dishcloth, but I'll just show you how to make the flower and then you can choose to do whatever you'd like with it. Uh, we really be, really be, it would be real cute as a hair bow or um, any number of things. Alright, so let's get started. You'll need two colors, your center color, and then your loop color. You could even do, um, you know, the inner loops one color and the outer loops a different color, but I'll just be using one color for them today. Um, so I'm going to start with yellow for my center. And you can use any weight of yarn that you'd like for this project. I'm using a worsted weight today, um, but you could use a crochet thread if you wanted a very small flower or, you know, a bulkier weight if you wanted a super big flower. Just use whatever hook size is appropriate for the yarn that you choose. Whatever you choose, you're going to start by chaining four and then slip stitch in the first chain to form a loop. So you just insert into that first chain there, draw a loop through, and then pull that same loop through the loop on your hook. So now we've got a little hole there in the middle that we can work into. Chain three, two, three, and then work two double crochets into the middle of the loop. So yarn over and go right into the center of that loop you just made. One and two. All right, then we'll chain two. And this time we'll do three double crochets in the middle of the ring. And three. Oops. And then chain two. So I'm gonna do that two more times. Three doubles. And then chain two. So one more time. So you'll have three groups of double crochets when you're done. And you may find, if your circle gets a little full, you may find that you need to kind of just wiggle your stitches to the side and open up some room, just like that. Go ahead, it'll be fine. You can always wiggle them back later if you wiggle them too far. All right, and then chain two to finish it up. And then just join um, with a slip stitch to uh, your turning chain right here. So just join right there at the top. All right, then we can snip this off. And I'll weave in the ends a little bit later, but we can leave that right there. Now, if you find that your center hole gets a little too big as you're working, Flip it over and find the um, the tail that you left from your slip knot, and sometimes you can tighten that up just a little bit. Just give it a little pull, 
and tighten up that hole. You won't be able to close it completely because we have so many stitches worked into that, but if it um, got really big while you're working through it, that'll help tighten it up a little bit. All right, so we've got four groups of three double crochets each. Now pick up whatever color you're gonna use for your petals. I've been using a lot of pink lately, so I'm gonna use purple for this one, just for a little change of pace. Let's go ahead and slip that knot to your hook. And then you can, you're gonna join this with a slip stitch around any double crochet. Uh, we'll do this one right here. So just go underneath it, come out the other side, pick up a loop, pull it through, and then pull that same loop through your uh, slip knot there. Okay, once you're joined, you're going to chain eight, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, okay? We're gonna count that as a double crochet and to chain five later on. Um, but for now, you just need to know that we're going to double crochet around this post here. So you'll yarn over, insert behind there, pull a loop through. You've got three loops on your hook right now, so pull through two and then pull through the other two and then chain five. Three, four, and five. And then we'll repeat that all the way around. So there's another double crochet. We'll go, oh, first we got a loop around. Go under there. Double, chain five. And then we'll continue all the way around. It doesn't matter that there's a space here, just work into the next one as so they were right next to each other. So I'm gonna finish doing this all the way around and then I'll come back and show you uh, how to continue on from there. So when you come around to the beginning again, um, you'll end with your chain five and then just join it to um, the chain that you made when you started working with your petal color. So we've got our chain here and we'll just count up. Let's see, one, two, three and just do a little slip stitch right into the middle of that chain there. And that will end round two. Okay, round three is actually the round in front of uh, round two. So if you wanted to use different colors for the different rounds, these will be your back petals and we're about to make the front petals. So we're going to do similar thing to what we just did. We'll do a double crochet around each post. But instead of chaining five, you're gonna just chain three between each double crochet. So there's chain three. Go over to the next post. Work a double crochet, maybe a little harder this time just because, well, you've already worked one in there. So maybe a little tighter, but just take your time. So I'm gonna continue doing this, a double crochet, chain three, all the way around. When I get back to where I started from, I'll join it just like I joined the back row, and then I can um, cut my yarn and weave from my ends, but I'll show you what the finished product looks like. So here's my finished loopy flower. Like I said, when I got to the end, I just uh, slip stitched my yarn to uh, the beginning point and you can't even really see it now. There's so many loops going on that, well, you can see it because I left the tail. But if I hadn't done that, you wouldn't be able to see it. Um, this is great because also on the back here, you've got lots of spaces where if you wanna sew this onto something, you've got lots of connection points there on the back. And it's a really cute, really easy, really simple flower um, that's got some great volume to it and great texture. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below and you'll find the links to the pattern and everything else you need right down in the description. Thanks for watching guys, bye. And this is the third part, um, which we're gonna do the edging round. So um, at the end of row 13, so what that is, is to just go between these two shells and go into that space right there and work a single crochet like that.